Yo, what is up guys, it's Pedro here, and in today's video, we'll be talking about Devontae Adams not having the Washington Commanders on his wish list of teams he'd like to be traded to, and we'll talk about that list and why I really am not a huge fan of trading for Devontae Adams unless, you know, a few different things change, which I'll talk about. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. Less than 40% of you guys who are watching the videos are subscribed. It takes one second, and it is free. And also check out BetUS, who is sponsoring today's video. All right, so let's get into it. It was reported a couple days ago that Devontae Adams requested a trade. Not super surprising. I feel like there's always some drama with Devontae Adams. You know, he's a receiver on a struggling team that doesn't... I mean, I guess they're not they're not struggling too much. I believe they're 2-2. Two and two. They just don't have the best quarterback play. He has an injury right now. And it's been off and on the last couple years if he's going to get traded or not. He got traded to the Raiders from the Packers to play with Derek Carr, who was his college quarterback. And now Derek Carr isn't there anymore. So, you know, it makes sense, I guess, that he doesn't want to be there. Uh, but the teams that he, you know, prefers to land on are the Jets which makes sense. Obviously, Aaron Rodgers is there. The Saints also makes sense. Derek Carr is there. The Steelers, uh, Ravens, Bills, Cowboys, and 49ers. So a lot of contenders or you know teams with good quarterbacks like the Bills, the Ravens, uh, obviously the Jets with Rodgers. Maybe you can you know you can throw in I guess the Cowboys and 49ers there as well. Uh, and you know Justin Fields has had a good season as well. And I remember Ayuk wanted to go there, so uh, maybe you know Devontae Adams has a connection with Mike Tomlin or uh, Justin Fields. Not completely sure there, but one team that's not on there is Washington Commanders, and uh, he also did trash them uh, this past off season or around when the season started uh, on some podcast talking about the fans are bad. Uh, the city of DC is bad and the stadium's bad, which stadium, whatever that, that, that makes sense. But, and that not necessarily going to like be the reason that he doesn't come here, but like, it is something that like, he's going to be asked about probably if he did get traded here. Uh, so just something to consider again, not a big deal at all. Just, uh, just a, a thought, uh, for you guys, but yeah, he had, has a list and what that's seven names. And come on, I'm sure like he would be fine going to the Chiefs and some other teams. But the thing is, Raiders aren't going to trade him to the Chiefs into the division, uh, the compensation. So this is kind of why I don't want to go for him. They said for a package that would include a second round draft pick and additional compensation. So you're probably looking at like a second and a fourth or a second and a, a young player. And for me... I just don't really, I'm not looking to get an aging, declining receiver that, you know, always seems to be a little bit upset, has some, you know, issues. Yeah, just, you know, I'm not going to call him a diva wide receiver, but sometimes he does have diva wide receiver tendencies. Uh, he, you know, he also, his cap hit is insane the next two years. Like, it's like 30 plus million, I believe. That's a lot for a receiver and you already have terry on the books for over 20 million dollars and the commanders have good cap space they really do but do you really want to be paying two of those receivers you know combined 50 plus million dollars like that's going to be really hard to do it really is they can do it they can do it but is that what you want to do they can get a receiver in the draft or get a younger receiver in free agency or via trade, something like that, versus going after uh, Devontae Adams, who he is a very, he's still a very good receiver. Do not get me wrong. Devontae Adams, I mean, we can look up his stats right now. He has a, he has a good, uh, he's had an amazing career. He's going to be a Hall of Famer, might be a first ballot Hall of Famer. Just look at his stats right here. Uh, again, elite receiver and even last year like he didn't have a great year but he was still pretty good 1100 yards eight touchdowns in 17 games with not so great quarterback play year before 1500 yards 14 tutties year before 1500 yards and the year before 1300 yards 18 touchdowns like there was a period where he was the best receiver in football and i don't think there was a debate like this this kind of period right here it just yeah he was that guy 
and he's still again he's still very good but he's 32 right now uh or he's 32 this season and you're starting to get up there in age and you're still having to pay him a lot of money i just don't know if it necessarily lines up with our timeline you know whereas maybe you can go after t higgins and i'm not saying he's available via trade but so, like a player like that that's younger that makes more sense for your timeline and is going to be around the same compensation and uh, the pay might be less because again Adams is on the back end of his contract and a lot of the contracts are backloaded in the NFL so you're going to have to pay him a lot a lot of money and he, he might be worth a lot of money but I just don't know if he's worth 30 plus million dollars which is probably what you're going to have to pay him uh, but real quick before we talk about that and some other stuff a word from today's sponsor, BetUS. And make sure you guys check out BetUS at BetUS.com. Use code YouTube150 to get 150% first time deposit match on your first three deposits up to $2,000. It's a very great deal. They have the fastest payouts in the industry. You look on this site, easy to navigate. If you want to go to football, you can go there, click on which week you want to bet on. Uh, what teams they got other sports as well you know there's hockey coming up basketball coming up baseball postseason is going on right now unfortunately the Nats aren't in there but I think in the future they will be and then you look at this the Browns versus Commanders line right now uh, you can see uh, over under for Jaden Daniels uh, rushing yards 49 and a half passing yards is 206 you can look at Terry as well, and they got lines on the game on who's going to win. So check them out. A lot of different things you can bet on. I will be posting YouTube short sometime this week going over which props I like and I don't like. But as usual, bet responsibly. Okay, and again, a huge shout out to BetUS for, for sponsoring today's video on the entire 2024 to 2025 NFL season. And yeah, just I put out a tweet a couple days ago about this. Said, sorry, but I'm out on Devontae Adams. Going to have to give up a lot for uh, a lot of assets for an aging player. I'd rather take a swing on a younger receiver. And when I say assets, I'm not just talking about the draft pick or player players that you're going to have to give up for him. I'm talking about the amount of money you're going to have to pay him. And again, you got to think about it. Do you want Devontae Adams, who, yes, is a special receiver? for one or you know a couple more years my yeah do you want him or do you want let's say i don't know 30 million dollars worth of players next year plus your second round pick plus your third round pick that's kind of my thought on the, my, my thoughts on the whole situation if the price goes down a little bit let's say instead of a second maybe we give up our third round pick from the Jahan dotson trade which is actually pretty high. So it's a really, really like a late, late second round pick. If that's the case, and maybe the Raiders are down to, you know, take some of that salary from Devontae Adams or pay some of it, or Devontae Adams is down to restructure the deal, then in that case, I would be with it. But guess what? He doesn't even have us on his preferred destination list or whatever. We're not on there, so it doesn't even matter. He's not coming to D.C., at least not for now, or at least uh, not until he you know, he changes his mind and puts us on this list. And even if that's the case, I don't even know if Adam Peters wants him. And I think there was some report that said we haven't uh, you know, been interested yet in trading for him. Not sure if that's true yet or true or not but uh it doesn't seem like adam wants adams wants to be here and again like i said i don't know if it completely makes sense with our timeline i know we're winning right now but it's still a rebuild like J you know jalen Jaden. sorry i don't know why i said jalen Jaden daniels has been amazing and that has like elevated this team but that doesn't take away from the fact that we still have holes at uh you know we could add another you know receiver obviously maybe some offensive linemen like our offensive line's been good but you you can never have too many offensive linemen on defense defensive line we still maybe need an edge rusher or two uh linebacker bobby wagner is going to be a free agent maybe you need to add someone there we'll see what jordan mcgee does uh cornerback you definitely have to add one probably two cornerbacks to the squad so there's still a lot of holes and I think at the trade deadline, maybe you can 
uh, trade for a guy like Deontay Johnson if he's available, or T. Higgins if he's available, or maybe Cortland Sutton if he's available, or some other names, or also a guy like J.C. Horn. I don't think he's going to be available, but again, I'm just throwing out names, and he's a very, very talented cornerback. But yeah, that's it for today's video. Uh, if you guys did enjoy, hit that like button, that notification bell as well. Subscribe. Do all that good stuff. It really does help out a ton. And uh, make sure you guys check out BetUS as usual and bet responsibly. And if you stayed till the end, go ahead and comment down below. We'll go with who is a who is a like. We'll go Cole Holcomb. We'll go Cole Holcomb a little bit. Not an OG player, but. Uh, you know, a player that a lot of guys, a lot of fans liked and was solid for us for a few years there. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and peace.